Hey guys, before this video kicks off, I just want to say so many of us are struggling to cope with the trauma in the world right now. You're about to hear a song that I wrote and see a drawing that I did that kind of revolves around that. But stick around at the end of this song where I talk a little bit more about coping through art and music. Hope you enjoy. Hey, real quick, if you've gotten anything out of this video so far, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and stick around at the end of the video where I show you how this drawing actually turned out. So um, a couple videos ago, I talked to you guys about 
working on this Psalms project and uh, actually originally had done an album of Psalms which you can uh, check out for free it's in the description box below uh, that I wrote maybe about five years ago when my mom was in the hospital and she was very sick and um, it was the first time that I had read the Psalms and um, they brought me a lot of comfort and um, just this time you know I've been thinking a lot about about this time this whole year and uh, it really has been a time when I feel all of us can use some comfort you know mosquitoes all of us can use some comfort I feel like this whole year has been a time when I know I've really needed some comfort and um, it's drawn me back to looking at the Psalms again as a as a text to emote and write songs with and um, all of these songs started out as just pure improvisation and I really haven't changed much from the original improvisation of just making this record and recording songs and so I'm working on a record that sound is uh, my mom's brakes <laughs> she probably needs some new brakes but um, to me one of the things with the Psalms is that I find that they are very relatable texts in that they're written, a lot of them are written by King David of the ancient Israelites and um, that he was a king of a nation and yet had so much turmoil and trouble and struggles in his life that he overcame and that he didn't overcome and he was a musician and an artist and he wrote these songs and so to me it's kind of interesting to reach back into history and to experience again the emotions and the pleas and the questioning of somebody thousands of years ago and to feel that it's still part of the human experience to this day looking at the things that you go through in life and asking how long how long is this going to be um, feeling completely isolated and alone. Uh, I probably haven't felt this isolated and alone ever in my whole life, you know. Um, in, a, in an age when we're supposed to be as connected as possible, it feels like we're as disconnected as possible, even with family and friends. And of course, here in the U.S., it's a uh, election season, and so you might as well call it open season in that everybody's supposed to divide up into teams and hate the people that they're against and it just feels like this brutal cycle um, that life goes through and it's really alienating and f frustrating and there's so many horrible things that go on in the world and it just makes you feel brutalized honestly um, and uh, we all experience that to various degrees. Um, I'm not claiming to be the world's greatest victim by any stretch, obviously not. Um, but it's just, um, I found going back through when I couldn't write anything myself because there were no words for me to express. And when I didn't know what to say, that uh, I could go back to this text and, um, and relate to it and um, that it gave me some comfort and so that's why I'm writing these songs I'm working on about five and uh, I'm working on re recording them and releasing them right now well, I just want to say that I don't particularly have an agenda to um, push on you with this music other than just to strictly say that these words brought me comfort and made me think about something bigger than myself and um, gave me a template to relate across history and time and to think about life and God and the scope of the universe and what my place is in it and what is the role of suffering and all of these things are things that I am really grappling with on a daily basis and I was able to express this anxiety and sadness and exhaustion and hope and questioning all of that through these words and through these songs that I'm writing and I just want to share that with anybody who's interested. Obviously the Psalms are sacred texts from the Christian and Jewish faiths and um, they have hold special meaning for people who participate in those faiths but I think that even if you don't participate in those faiths you may still find something relatable in there. 
I found peace through expressing myself through this music and through these words. And um, I just hope that somebody might find peace in listening to it as well. How are you guys coping with the difficulties of life and how does being creative fit into that? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Also, check out these playlists for more content you might be interested in. And in the meantime, remember, you have a voice that matters. Go be creative. Use your voice for good. I'll see you next time.